Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Two years ago, my dad and I recorded one song in the style of 10 different drummers, and we were lucky enough to have Bryony Williams to do the vocal part. So I thought looking into some of those styles might be a nice way to complete my little tutorial series. But first of all, this is the original video. Shine bright like a diamond Shine bright like a diamond Find light in the beautiful sea I chose to be happy You and I, you and I Like diamonds in the sky You're a shooting star I see A vision of ecstasy When you hold me, I'm alive We're like diamonds song starts with that famous fill of In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. That fill is not only about the notes, but also about the 80s gated reverb sound. There are tutorials on YouTube how to achieve that effect. You can find the link in the video description. Two years ago I had five toms I could use, so I could get close to the original way of orchestrating that fill. Today I have only three toms, so I have to orchestrate the toms in a different way. Please consider those only as examples. For instance,
The important part about that fill is dividing 16 sixteenth notes in groups of three, like that. After four groups of three notes, I have played 12 sixteenth notes. And after that, I play two more eighth notes on the low tom to complete the bar. After that Collins gated we were apart, I played some licks in the style that Phil Collins often used with Genesis. Those examples are taken from the Genesis track That's All. They basically all start with a five stroke row. The groove Steve Gadd used for Paul Simon's 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover might be his most popular recording. These are some fills in the style of Neil Perch of Rush. They are all borrowed from Tom Sawyer. Next on the list is John Bonham. This particular fill is taken from Stairway to Heaven. Now this is the groove of I Feel Fine, as created by the great Ringo Starr, certainly the most underrated drummer in history. Talking about underrated drummers, I did a separate tutorial about Phil Rudd. Please see the link in the video description.
Now we have some Nirvana. The drum part is not too exciting, but we need it a bit to fit in our song arrangement. So my apologies to Dave Grohl for not finding a more exciting example for his playing. Next is the typical groove of Chad Smith of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Obviously, this bit is taken from Toto's Rosanna. I also did a full tutorial about that song, so if you're interested, you will find the link in the video description. The song ends with some dream theater kind of fits. And that's a nice circle, because my tutorial series started with dream theater. Again, you can find that video about Mike Portnoy's style in the video description. So this was the last part of my tutorial series. I hope you found some relevant content for your playing. Keep drumming and see you on Friday for the next cover. Bye!